Okay, this is just a quick video on how to remove the EGR valve. This is a Honda Civic 2.2, 2007. Um, you're going to need yourself a small ratchet, like that, a 12mm, and a 10mm, basically. That's really all the parts you should need. Um, the other things that you, I would recommend you have is some WD-40, because some of the bolts will get tight. But apart from that, uh, right, so first thing you do is take off the bolts here using your 10 and take off your engine cover. Once you've got the cover off, this is the section that you're going to be taking out. Ideally, well, the screws that you're going to be on, or the bolts you're going to be undoing, is this one here. This one just underneath, if you just get the camera around. So, just there. Then you've got this one here. You've got, oh, I've already got it disconnected, but this pipe here, so that would be on there basically. So that would be coming off. These two here, now it's a bit hard to see, but you've got one just under here. Let's see if I can focus that a bit for you. There you go, so one just there, and then there's one. A bit hard to get to, to point out, probably easy from this angle. I'll just move it over. And one. Just see if I can get it in shot. Let's see, my finger's here, so it's just underneath here. So just there. Don't know if we can get that in the actual camera shot. Just put my phone down, see if you can see it. Hold on. Um, so it's that one, just there, basically. there. Right, so. Right, so, I've already loosened a lot of these, so they will come off a lot easier. Um, but obviously, if it's your first time, you will have to you know, put a bit of leverage behind it. So first things first is take off this pipe. Don't disconnect it from this end, disconnect it from this end. It should just slide straight off. Again, you might need to wiggle it out of a little flat screwdriver and put some WD-40 on to get it off. The next step is the bolt right down underneath here. Um, reason being, you're going to be twisting that way, which will put pressure on this, and you don't want to, you want this secured in place basically while you do that. So underneath, find your bolt. Have that turned the right way might help. There we go. So once you've got that on there, If you're going to drop any of the bolts, this is the one you're going to drop, so try not to. <laughs> when it's got so far out, just use your fingers just to finish it off. So that's your first one that comes out. Then after that, I find it easier to take this one out next. So for that, you're going to need the 10. And it's just a case of if I need an extension on that. Since I've already had this undone, I'll probably just do it with this, but. Yep, yeah. I can just do that with my finger. There we go. That's that one. Then it's these two's next. 
again back to the 12 mil there we go do that one by end now Finally, the one underneath here. Again, I've already loosened that one off, so it's relatively easy for me. But again, you need your ratchet otherwise. There we go. Next is the two large ones. Well, personally, actually, I'd do the bottom one underneath here. So it's this one. Next. And then it's just these two. That's your first one. It's worth mentioning that if this is the first time you've done this and your bolts aren't loose, get yourself a decent thick glove, not something plastic like that, for this area here. So when you're using your ratchet down there, you don't cut all your hands up on all this, basically. Right, once you've done that, the next step is to actually get this out. So we need to slide it off this way, and up. There should be a little bit of play. There we go. So as that comes out, you're going to have your oil dipstick connector here. Now, generally, some people say they turn this away. Mine seems to be fused to the actual dipstick, and there's no way for me to rotate it. So I'm going to have to just try and just gently put a bit of pressure backwards and just slide this off. Once it's come off, twist it around. Make sure your gaskets don't drop. So you take your other gasket off. Again, that now is going to be useless. Um, don't you don't reuse the same gasket? You want to bin that. I'll put a link in the description to get new gaskets. And there you can see the ERG, and this is after eighty-six thousand miles. And as you can see straight away, that is, you know, it's just like a blocked artery basically. So that all needs a good clean. And the same goes for in here as well. So if I get the camera over. You want to clean in here because obviously at the same time you know that's where the gases will go it's not as bad to be fair in there it's mainly this that was choking it up so as long as you get this clean and that clean obviously when you're cleaning this bit don't let anything fall in and whatnot you'll get you probably use a hoover or something just to gently suck up any bits but yeah that's how you take it apart um, the gaskets, like I said, I'll put a link in the description, and yeah, that's it. To put it back together, just reverse the video, and I hope this helps. Thank you. Just forgot to mention, obviously, you want to clean that bit as well. Um, so that's where the other section of the EGR um, would have connected. So, looking at mine, again, make sure it doesn't go in, just you know, use your finger more than anything just to pull it all out, but... It's horrible stuff so yeah clean that definitely clean that 
and clean that on there and then wow that's actually completely blocked give that one a clean as well there we go right hope that helps just a quick update to show you what it's like when it's done so that one's been cleaned out and the new gasket for that has been placed on this one's been cleaned out best it can I'll just put the light on for you um, you can still see there is still stuff inside but it's considerably you know there's no it was built up around here and it's much much better now um, so that should help regarding the valve itself the valves now clean you can see there and then the other end which was really clogged up now you can see it's much much cleaner right hope that helped. hope the video helps let me know in the link below description below sorry and these are the two gaskets um i'll just video them since it's easier than putting them in the link or putting it below there you go